Sarah's Solo, written by Tracy Brown, illustrated by Paula Wegman. This is published by Callan Callaniot Books, and well, they didn't have anything to do with writing the book. Sarah's Solo. I think the copyright is 2021. It was so unfair. Sarah had been practicing her ballet routine for months. Now she was going to have, miss, have to miss performing her solo because her cousin Lizzie's wedding was on the exact same day. She had worked so hard to prepare, staying late after dance class, and even missing her best friend's birthday party to rehearse with her troupe. Who is her best friend? I do not know. It's not really part of the story. Sarah knew every move of her routine by heart. As she practiced, the delicate sounds of the violin filled her head, and she let the music guide her. And, and as she fun. danced, Sarah became lost in another world. Ah. Ballet positions. First, with the feet to the sides. Second, with space between. Third position. The bunny is doing it correctly. Fourth position. Fifth position. Finally, she held the shirts of her puffy crinoline dress, bringing her left leg behind her right, bending low and bowing her head the perfect curtsy. Curtsy came from the word courtesy, and it's uh, used used to be used for the beginning or the ending when you met someone or to show that you were finished with a performance is how it is used now. Is this no, honey, it's not. On the day of Lizzie's wedding, Sarah looked at her recital dress, sparkling in the closet. Sarah, we need to leave. Please put on your dress. Ouch. <laughs> Sarah's mother yelled up the stairs. I'm ready, announced Sarah. Oh, there's no time to change, said her father. Let's just go. She's wearing her recital dress, not the slightly more boring good dress that her mom set out. Sarah fidgeted in her seat during the wedding ceremony until the cantor began to sing. The song sounded soft and sweet, like the lullabies her mother used to sing to her. Sarah felt goosebumps on her arms. Seven times, Sarah counted Lizzie, circling around Ben, the groom, her pearly gown trailing behind her. It was like a dance. Smash! Ben stomped on the glass. And the wedding ceremony was over. Everyone shouted, Mazel Tov! It's what they shout at the end of a ceremony. At this wedding ceremony. The guests filed into the reception hall. And the, began, the band began to play a slow, quiet tune. All around Sarah... Everyone hurried to join in hands. As the music's rhythm began to pick up speed, so did the steps of the dancers, circling the bride and groom. Sarah's mother and father rushed to join in, too. What are you doing? asked Sarah, as her mother tried to pull her onto the dance floor. The band is playing Hava Nagila. We're 
joining the horror, her mother said. When Sarah wrinkled her brow, her father explained. Listen, the dad is about to say horror. It's the traditional Jewish celebration dance. Mommy and I danced the horror at our wedding, and we will dance the horror at your bat mitzvah. Come on, said your mother, you love to dance. But Sarah shook her head. Hang on. Bat mitzvah is another ceremony that children do. Um, bat mitzvah is for young ladies and bar mitzvah is for young men to show that they are changing from children to adults in the Jewish faith. Come on, said your mother, you love to dance. But Sarah shook her head. This dance wasn't nearly as graceful as her elegant ballet routine. Sarah watched as her parents and the other guests twirled about in a circle. It looked like so much fun. Sarah couldn't help but tap her toes to the catchy beat. Open, cross, kick to the left. To the right. Hand in hand, the dancers moved to the right, their left foot behind right, a kick to the left, a kick to the right. Over and over, the steps continued until the dancers switched directions. When the guests stopped dancing and lifted Lizzie and Ben high in the air on chairs, Lizzie is the bride and Ben is the groom, her new husband. Sarah leaned closer to the circle, feeling the excitement of the guests. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because here's a waiter with a tray of dog biscuits offering one to a dog. I don't normally think dogs attend wedding celebrations complete with a tray of dog biscuits. As Lizzie's chair was lowered back to the floor, she looked right at Sarah. She reached out her hand and pulled Sarah into the center of the dance circle. The cousins hooked opposite arms and twirled to the right. Then switching arms, they circled to the left. Feeling the beat of the drum, Sarah began to dance to the rhythm. Cross, kick, kick. Sarah let the music guide her. And as she danced, Sarah became lost in another world. And here's the, here is the words to the song, and I will probably mispronounce them terribly. My apologies. Hava neranana, hava neranana. Hava nerana nave nismecha. When, no, we're almost done. When she finally began to slow down, Sarah found herself alone in the center of the circle. The wedding guests surrounding her clapping. They were clapping for her. She had danced her solo after all. Sarah held the skirts of her puffy crinoline dress, bringing her left leg behind her, bending low and bowing her head. The perfect curtsy. And there's some Jewish wedding traditions uh, listed in back that uh, people can read longer if you would like to do so. Sarah's solo. Thank you for listening.